Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Aquarius, you got a lot of protection around you. Okay, if you're worried about that, um, a lot of energetic, angelic protection around you. It says that maybe you need to take the middle ground. Um, yeah, the middle ground uh, in terms of salvaging some connection, coming back together, at least compromise. You know, um, I think you go off into a tangent or you just go one way. You know, you go too far to the left or too far to the right to where it. You know, there is no compromise there. Um, let's get into it. What does the week hold for the Aquarius Collective? What does the week hold for the Aquarius Collective? All right, let's see. What does the week hold for the Aquarius? Okay. The Wheel of Fortune. Very, very nice, Aquarius. Um, you could have Sag in your chart. Pisces. Doesn't have... You don't have to... Um, the wheel is turning in your favor. If you thought that you you just couldn't catch a break, you could not have a stroke of good luck for anything, it looks like it's turning around for you. Maybe some long-term goal, goal fulfillment could come in for you. Um, some recognition. Um, you could be getting rewarded for your expertise. And there could be a soulmate that shows up. A perfect timing, divine timing. There is change happening for you right now. Um, this is masculine energy. So it was like something that you are thinking about or you have thought about. You wanted, wow, this popped out of the deck. You wanted it to come true. This is like a miracle. This is only the, the, the blessing of the Lord or whomever your Lord is. Um, the blessing of, of uh, the universe. It's like something miraculous is happening for you. Um, Wow, the angels are working hard behind the scenes to make something come together for you, Aquarius. Um, to make it work. Wow, 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 Aquarius. Um, you can feel like you had a stroke of bad luck and you just needed that angelic push, that universal push in two. Um, because it looks like you do have an idea of where you want to go. Um, there was uh, indecisiveness. Uh, indifference, drama, trouble, backbiting, uh, a setback always. And it looks like the universe is now setting you up. A, a major blessing coming into you. What is the advice for the Aquarius this week? Advice for the Aquarius this week. Advice for the Aquarius this week. What's the advice here. This is like paperwork. Wow, six of pentacles, money coming in, balance. Um, now you're not, you're, you're not going to always be the pauper, the beggar, the, the person in need. Maybe you'll be the, the giver. The power dynamic has shifted now. He's on the top of that hill with the pentacles here. Now you have enough, uh, to give. You have something left over. There is harmony, balance and something that you're doing. Something that brings you money. Something about your resources, your income here. Uh, you you pray for a miracle, and it looks like it is here. Uh, there's a reckoning happening uh, for you. Um, see where, what's in your 10th house. Um, this could be your long-term goals. Um, this could be where you, um, your career aspiration. Um, this, wow, this is really good, Aquarius. The Six of Pentacles here. Um, it says that balance is being restored. You're doing two different things to bring in money, but there's definitely harmony amongst the two. What's the outcome here for the Aquarius? Uh, this is giving. Maybe you're even giving to show your affection or someone's going to give to you to show you um, that their affections toward you. Um, this is gifting, gifts, sharing. You're sharing your gifts. Um this is really, really, really good, Aquarius. Um, this is growth, okay? Um, outcome for the Aquarius. Outcome for the Aquarius. Wow, very nice. The Seven of Swords in reverse. Uh, the fake it till you make it. 
the masquerading around, um, the acting as if, the lone wolf, the setting yourself up for sabotage, somebody leaving you, holding the bag, um, someone, you know, the trickery and the deception, maybe that somebody was doing behind your back, it will not uh, manifest, it will not penetrate you, it will not, um, no weapon formed against you will, will uh, Excuse me, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. The Four of Swords in the reverse. Something is completely over. There is no opportunity for it to show back up, to come back to you. Somebody wants to speak to you. They don't know what to say. They don't know how to say it. They get choked up. The manifestations of your dreams, your hopes, your wishes for the future are coming into you. You're coming out of that... Uh, you're in the, the tail end of healing, restoration. And now you're ready to embark on something new here. You're not going to have to worry about money anymore. It looks like you, you found your groove, a curve. Um, as we speak of a curve here, you know, um, it's like you, um, you've you come into yourself or you've come into knowing how to make money. You've come into knowing that, you know, um, Money is energy. If you want more money, then you do what? You do more work. That's the only way you get money unless you're a trust fund, baby. You know, um, you can't you can't skirt around work, you know. And I think some of you are really, you really understand that. So it's like, oh, I need more money. Then I need to have more opportunity to bring it in. And you've, you've carved that out. Um, you found your curve. You found what works for you. Um, some of you are doing manifestation rituals each and every day. You're doing protective uh, rituals, prayers or, uh, about yourself each and every day. Something was trying to really, somebody was doing something in secret. This is like a fake false friend. It's like they're going to be found out too. Give me, give me one card for the seven of swords in reverse. What is the seven of swords in reverse? Somebody that was energetically trying to um, tear you down. Yeah, the seven of wands. Wow, that shit is crazy. Look, what they were doing in secret, right? The seven of swords, it got blocked with the seven of wands. Their magic got blocked with your, well, their thoughts and their manifestations, them going to other people and trying to gather people against you, them masquerading like they were your friend, them being a foe altogether. Um, it got blocked. Wow, 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 wow. Your like your spirit guys just blocked this. You blocked it with your manifestation, your prayer, your fire rituals, your everything. It's like, um, that's crazy. That's 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 miraculous. Um you just you kept your foot on their damn neck. It's like you knew it. You was just like, Okay, I got something for you. The seven of wands, um, you just, the seven of wands talks about a destructive influence. You didn't let this person come in and destruct because you knew this is what they were about. You didn't even let them know what you were constructing in secret. You were like, I'm good. I'm not letting you in on this. This is absolutely wonderful. The seven of wands upright Aquarius, all of that got blocked. Wow. All of their hopes and their, their ill uh, intentions, their incantations, their negative thoughts, their uh, prayers, their negative prayers towards you got blocked here. The Nine of Cups, nothing manifested here. No manifestation. This is a false friend, lover, um, co-worker, um, somebody who does not have good intentions. You cannot be yourself around them. Every time you, you're trying to be yourself around this person, um, it upsets their soul. It upsets who they are. They don't like your gift. They wanted to steal your gift, your voice. This person is altogether hateful. I'm getting hateful altogether. Let's see. Let's see what the other cards have to say. You're the only one that got a long read in Aquarius because, you know, you guys are absolutely wonderful. Okay. Um, let's see what this is about. Wow, I just saw a dangerous person. Um, yeah, this could be um wow it flew out into my hands guys jealous of look at all those yous you you they are jealous of you you upset their soul you upset 
their very being you are a threat to them and i don't even think you look at them like that they're not on your radar you don't think of this person to know and to find out who this is you will be floored because you're like i don't even think about this person i don't give no energy to this wow they talk too much yeah talks too much blah 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 too much talk not enough action and you show and you prove Aquarius and this person doesn't like that they talk about you a lot they talk behind your back give me one more card what is this what do we have going on for the Aquarius collective what do you want to tell uh, Aquarius spirit wow these people and it looked like it might have even been a group of people or some people was trying to get a group of people to kind of gang up on you I can't make this shit up it came out into my hands wow in need of new real friends because it was like somebody was you, maybe you hang out with this person on a weekend. This person has infertility issues. And infertility could just be they have growth issues. Like they can't grow shit. They can't start nothing. Um, they don't. They can't manifest like you do. Um, on a weekend, they want to get up with you. They want to hang out with you. Or they want you to be kind of like a fair weather friend. Or this is a fair weather friend. You're in need of new real friends. This person can't manifest shit. But but shit you know they talk a lot of shit and they're jealous of you wow no weapon formed against you will prosper aquarius this was remarkable wow and at the bottom of the deck we got secret plans to propose uh marriage so maybe some of you are in very good relationships and somebody's got plans to propose to you so congratulations but you got some people and it's more than one person but it's, it's definitely a ringleader who is jealous of you and they try to rally up other people against you um, against your energy, they, they, a shit stirrer, a shit stirrer, because they talk too much, wow, Aquarius, keep doing you, keep being the light in a dark place, um, because, um, that's all you can be, all right, if you want to get your own personal reading, if you feel like this is my energy, I need to know who this is, or I would like to know, I'm interested, get your own personal reading at the website level, you can also, um, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can donate to the channel if you feel like you took something from this reading. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you.